Is there any bit of a stick on behalf of the Lopez family or today? Well, just, just a few questions or so. Mm -hmm. Who, who's in charge? Mm -hmm. Who's the former? This man here in the middle. The residents here. Yeah, all right. You can't answer any questions if I ask them. Okay, first of all, first of all, yeah, Irish water don't answer to anybody, okay? But you are here and you have responsibilities while you are here, okay? First of all, first of all, I ask you who you, what? Uh, you can yeah. call me Michael, okay? Michael, a resident. Yes. Okay, so I. Uh, look, he's in our estate, okay? So we're we're residents here now, and we want to know what's going on, okay? You are Irish Water. Irish Water is. I want to speak to the foreman here, the guy in charge. Right. Okay. Okay, this estate hasn't been taken over by the council, okay? So who have given you permission to come in here and given you a permit to dig license to open the footpath? Not Irish Water. No, I'm asking you to produce the permit to dig that you've got to open we footpaths have, we in have here. A license to work. Show, show me the license. Show me the Ta permit to dig Irish that you water. have. You have to carry it here on the site as part of your uh, information to the residents here. You have to identify what you're doing and identify to the residents that you have a license and permission to do the work in this estate. Mm -hmm. So, can you show me the permit to dig that you have to open these footpaths in an unfinished estate? In an unfinished estate. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have a license from all the county councils. Right. Can you show country, me yeah. it then? Yeah, that's okay. Sure. Irish sure. Water will give you a copy. If you yeah, can't you're, Irish you're Water, the man here. You you're the man here doing the work. Yeah. It's a bu it's a building site. That's what you're creating a construction works area. So you should have this documentation. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you don't have this documentation here today? I'm not saying. I'm saying if you well, want to see it, show it to the residents. We want to see it. Irish Water. You are Irish Water. You're the foreman. You're the. You ring them now and ask them for it. Tell them there's a resident who wants to see your permits. Give me your name and number, and we'll get it sent out to you. Yeah. You'll send it to me. Not answering any phone calls from anybody. Yeah, they're not answering. Give me your name and number. Give me your name and number and get it sent out to you. You are obliged to have this information on you today. Okay. Give me your name and number. Show me your permit to dig. Give me your name and number. Show me your permit to dig. You don't need my name and number to show me a permit to dig. I can't have your phone. So I assume you don't have a permit to dig in an unfinished estate from the council. Whatever you want. Yeah. Is that correct? You can assume that if you want. Right, so yeah. you're not you're refusing to show to identify yourself and identify the document you have that gives you permission to open a footpath mm -hmm. here on the sun and the state. Yeah? Can you show me your traffic management plan mm -hmm. for the works going on in here? I see mm -hmm. you're closing footpaths and the pedestrians are being forced onto the road and you've no signs up to say that the footpath is closed ahead and for pedestrians to use an alternative route. Have you got? Have you got a? Have you got a, a traffic management plan? If you don't have a traffic management plan, you should leave the site now, okay? Because you're working illegally. I hope you all understand this, because I cannot open a footpath anywhere without having a traffic management place and traffic management system in place and a license or a permit to open footpath. So how come you can't purchase this to me today? No, I'm contacting you because if I'm a foreman or managing a site or an operation, I have to have this information available Irish to show the people. Irish Water will, and yeah. where have they got it from? Yeah. Where have they got it from? Do so you're you walking in the blind and you don't you seem to know very water. much. You don't seem to know your obligations at all. I'm telling you what to do. Uh, no, I'm Irish asking water. you for you the information. You're for, you're I'm, from Irish water. I'm asking, you should have this, they should be giving it to you, documentation as part of your site plan. So you don't have this documentation from Irish Water? Are you saying that they haven't given you this information? No, I'm asking you now. I'm telling you now what to do. Well, why are you telling me that? Why, you, why would you not just give it, if you have it there at hand, why do you not just produce it? Has Irish, Water, has Irish Water instructed you not to produce it to anybody? Or you don't have it in the first place? You contact Irish Water and they'll give it to you. Why will how, how they give it to me from who? Huh? Why, why are you not carrying it as you're obliged to do? Well, why are you breaking every rule down there by not having a traffic management plan and not having a pedestrian route, alternative pedestrian routes in place? Mm. Why are you not doing that? You just say a footpath goes. So somebody uh, that's unfortunate that is has very poor eyesight or perhaps blind and they come along here with a white stick. Well, what happens when they walk into your barriers? You have no system in place. You have no traffic management plan. You are breaking every rule in the book. Has the HSA been notified of construction work in this area? Yeah. Can you show me that document? No, you you are meant to have it on display at the site. It's called an AF2 form. Are you aware? Are you aware what an AF2 form is? You are obliged to have it 
displayed at your place of work. Can I also ask you, what do you do for welfare facilities around here when you have so many construction operators? Where's your welfare facilities? First thing you can do now is hunt out you, uh, you, have you, Do you think you have no responsibilities at all? On the back of the vest says working on behalf of Irish Water. Yes. On the back of your high vis, you are working yeah. on behalf so of show them. Us, show us where your toilet facilities are for all your workers. Your, your hand washing facilities, mm -hmm. your clothes drying facilities, do you have any of these at all? The answer is no. The answer, you're mm -hmm. you just seem to think I'm talking mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. you know. Right I'm not making any sense. Do you understand yeah. anything yeah. I'm asking you? Yeah. But you yeah. are the man in charge of the site now. Working on behalf you of you Irish Water. The man and you have responsibilities. So if you don't have any of these items, available to display and you have no welfare facilities for your lads, you have no traffic management plan, you better leave site now because you're breaking every single rule that was made for the safety of your workers, the safety of the residents and on behalf of the council as well. He's going to leave site now because you can't produce any of these documents. AF2 is a compulsory document that must be displayed at your place of work. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? Something yes or no. Do you no. have any planning supervisor it's no. anywhere? No. That's no. Have I'm you a name? Irish water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so are you saying you have no you have no obligations or responsibilities at all? I'm not You're not anything. saying anything. No. Yeah, because you have no answers. No, because I'm telling you, it's contract Irish water. Any information? But you are Irish, Irish water. water. You are here no, as part. No. You get your Irish water representative to come and visit us and tell us what you're actually doing. Okay, I contact Irish water. I guess something yeah. to come out. But yeah. you can yeah. ring. So you rang them yesterday yeah. from Bound Rate. Yeah. And why can't you ring them for this man now? He talks to them. Because they have to tell me now. Okay, I'll get someone from Irish water from out here. Yeah, did you notify the residents that you were going to be doing this work? Did you give them the advance notice? No. No. no they didn't do no. bond rate, nor they didn't do Argray, they just landed unannounced. Right. So uh, no council, not even the council, can turn up in an estate and carry out work by a, an upset the residents. You must give them prior notification. Do you understand that? First thing you do is uh, has it, have, you, have you advised any of the residents here that you be shutting off their water to connect a new meter? Residents speak there. No. Does anybody know? No. There's no. One, no. Okay, there's one very important point to make here, right? My understanding is you haven't notified anybody. Okay, so if there's somebody occupying one of those uh, properties now, okay, and they're in there and they're having a shower and their shower is an electric shower, and you switch off the water for them, the chances are that they will get scalded while using that electric shower. Are you aware of that? Mm. True. Now there has been incidents where people have been scalded because water has been shut off and they have been affected for the rest of their lives. Do you understand the consequence of shutting off water without notifying the occupant of the house that you're working on? I you just look like you're completely turn. clueless about what I'm saying to you. You're just at working on a pure dumb mode. You cannot answer anything. You cannot produce anything it's and you're breaking every rule that has been made for the safety of the public and the safety of the residents. How do you feel about that? You have no feelings. You have no feelings and you have no answers. You're just abusing the system, robbing the people, wasting money, burying money into the ground just because you think it's a job. Yeah. It's a job that is wasting the money of the Irish people. Yes, the water system is wrong and it is broken, but by putting these meters, or replacing meters that are only put in 12, 12 years ago, that weren't even used, and now they're going to be discarded and dumped, and we'll still have all the leaky pipes, the asbestos pipes, the lead pipes, the rotten water, mm -hmm. and you want to come along just because it's a job, stick in a meter, and annoy everybody, and not answer any questions. Walk over the top of the people. Shame. Can you pack up now Shame. and leave this estate till you get this information? Or do you have a representative here that can answer the questions and alleviate our fears? Yeah, I'll get someone from our Right. Well, you're going to shut down yeah. the plant now, pack up until we get these questions answered. Because you are responsible. Would you like to give us your name? Would you like to give us your name? And I can, I can when I contact, I use what I can say, you told me to contact them. She can't even identify yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you have identification for all your workers here? Mm -hmm. Can you show us the identification for all your workers? Can you show us their shift passes? The Can you show us their guard yeah. of vetting forms?
Can you show us anything whatsoever? Tire what holes? The holes you cut up? The holes that you cut? The, the holes that you made? Is that it? The holes that you made? Yeah. But that you that you don't have a permit to dig for? Yeah. Yeah. So of course you should backfill them and make them safe and remove all the barriers and do you get a traffic That's management. Right, so we're going to stop all work now, make everything good, no more digging, no more cutting, and that's it. Is that what you're telling me? Or are you going to continue to abuse every regulation that was made? Right, so you're cutting, no, you're not taking out any more meters, you're going to do no more work. Is that correct? We're not at the moment now anyway, no. Right, so you're shut down, so until we get all these questions answered you will do no more work. Is that correct? And you will respect the neighbours and the residents and the rules and regulations that are built. Yeah, uh, can I quote them who, who told me to contact them? Can you give us your name? Well, I think you want to evidence there, so. Not oh, sure, give us your name. Yeah, I give you my name, sure, yeah. give us your name. You didn't give me your name. Ah, you call, call me Michael. Michael. Yeah, yeah. So what do I call you? What do I call you? Call me John. John, okay. Yeah. And can I, call, can I have your name? John as well. John as well. Yeah. You're all John's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two John's. Yeah, two John's. Sorry? You're on the Baptist Okay, so we're, we're, we've been told that these...